Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. You know I've been talking about getting our closets done forever so I'm so excited that you can finally see the transformations today. This was the boys closet. We just had the builder grade like wire closet system in all of our closets so today we finally got them redone. I'm just starting with cleaning everything off because there's like a lot of greasy um, like fingerprints on here. I'm just from having it done so I'm cleaning it off first. I really love this because it allowed me to get rid of the dresser in their room and just give them more space just because I have the two racks on each side to hang stuff as well as the drawers and I could put some baskets up here with other random things as well. So I hope that this video just gives you some motivation to organize or even just do your laundry which is like one of my most dreaded tasks unless I'm watching like Real Housewives and having coffee and that doesn't really happen that often but that's the one time that I really enjoy doing laundry but I was really excited to just go ahead and get this done like just to have everything back in the closets and have some organization and just make everything make sense in here um even though i will say this if you guys have a six-year-old do they enjoy wearing like the same two outfits every week because at this point with carter i'm just like maybe i just shouldn't buy him any clothes since he only wants to wear his pokemon sweat outfit and his adidas sweat outfit i don't know maybe it's just him but he has his two favorite outfits and he never wants to wear anything else These are by far one of my favorite ways to organize a drawer. Um, these are from Target. You just have to make sure of the size of your drawer because I've tried to use these in some things in the kitchen. It just doesn't work out there. I need it like a thinner, longer divider, but these are great for dresser drawers. These are, like I said, from Target. I'll try to link these and the Amazon ones below, but it's just a nice, easy way. And if you ever decide to change it up and organize differently, you can always reuse these in a different spot in your house. So all of their undergarments are done there's belts and socks and all of that and then in the next drawer I'm giving them each their own drawer it doesn't sound like it would be enough but it actually is plenty I'm putting shirts and pants and stuff in here um, anything else that's like a nicer like sweater or anything like that I will hang up or like a button up or something like that or the shirts that they like to wear every day like I mentioned the Pokemon shirt
just what I'm thinking, how nice everything looks. I remembered that I had a load of their laundry in the dryer, so I'm just folding and going through all of that. I absolutely love hearing all of the mom tips and everything like that. I like to like see my comment section as a forum where we can all get together and give each other tips and tricks and share our routines and just give some, you know, a shoulder to lean on for all of us out there that need it. So if you could go ahead and write in the comments, like, what is your laundry routine? Um, you know, when do you get it done? My laundry routine is just what, honestly whenever I can. I feel like we always have laundry going. Um, you know, just ha being a family of six, we always have the laundry going. So I don't have a specific routine. Also, don't mind Evie yelling in the back, but this is mom life. Life goes up and it goes down I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around So little And we keep track of time Being so serious Idiots Thinking it will matter Keep me company downtown Before the clock runs out Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh I love it when the love comes around And then I remember All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up It feels like I'm lying every time Someone asks how it goes And I save the details that actually mean something mm -hmm. Sun is shining but the rain is welcome too Friends are nearby, don't need another view Time is not on my mind but then it's you Oh, I love it when the love comes around And then I remember all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa But I'm not gonna wake up All right, so next up I'm going through their jeans and all of that. They both despise wearing jeans, so I actually stopped buying them jeans, but I'm just like checking and some of these are the same size um, that they're currently in. So I'm just gonna fold them and put them away into one of these baskets in case they decide to change their mind and suddenly like jeans, you never know with kids, honestly. I didn't realize that like this was the age where they started to wanna pick out their own clothes already. Um, even Ella, I kind of just have to let it go and be like, yeah, that looks beautiful. And then I just hope that, you know, people know that that wasn't me picking out that outfit. Two years and you never said a word. No. In two hours and now said it all. Uh -huh. You know we don't want to fall in love again. Oh no. Just think about what we did. It never worked, no. Tonight, I can tell you you don't care You always know how 
So lastly, I'm just putting away their robes and their slippers, and then we're headed into Miss Ella and Everly's room. They are officially sharing a room. Um, we haven't done anything to like make it truly their shared room yet. We literally just have the crib and everything in there. But this will be one of our next projects. Also, guys, the powder room is done. I don't know if you saw Chris's reel. It looks so good. And this week, the mud room will be done. We got cubbies put in there. We got a bathroom put in. Um, it's just, it's beautiful and it's been a long time coming so I can't wait to share that with you. Um, with this organizer I've had for a while so I'm just putting some socks and stuff in here. And then I'm realizing like I really don't like how this came out so you're going to see me take that out and then put the dividers in. I wanted to show you this initially just in case this was something that you think would work well for you. But I did wind up using this in my closet which I saved for last since I feel like that was the biggest transformation. Um, but yeah. Well, I'm doing the same thing with the girls where they each have their one individual drawer that had like pants and t-shirts in there and then you'll see me go back up to the top and redo it um, with dividers for their stuff. I just feel like it worked better. Also, mom tip, and I don't know if you guys can relate to this, but the boys both wear the same socks and the girls both wear the same socks. It just ha happens that they fit them both perfectly. That's definitely helpful for us. So for the girls, I did the bottom drawer as their pajama drawer the same way as I did with the boys so they each have one half of a drawer for pajamas. Again, works out perfectly for us. We don't like to have, uh, you know, too much stuff at once and they grow so fast, especially Everly. Like, she's growing like crazy. I have to get her new stuff all the time. I'm actually in that feeling where I just can't wait to buy them spring clothes. I feel like all of their winter clothes are pretty stained up by this point and just kind of messed up. But I don't feel like spending the money to get them new winter clothes when spring is just around the corner. Also, I can't help but to feel like this is my mini me. Just like wanting to put the clothes away and wanting to help with absolutely everything. And I always tell her yes, even if I know it's gonna take me like an hour longer. I just love sharing these moments with her and she just genuinely loves helping. I will say that Carter also really likes to help organize things. Tanner, he's getting there. Sometimes he likes to do that kind of stuff, but He's more into toys, which is perfectly fine.
So each girl, just like the boys, has their own size of the closet and now Ella's organizing her little shoes at the bottom here, just completely melting my heart. So I want to tell you what's holding me up about the girls' room, even though I know you're tired of hearing about it. Um, one is that Evie is still in a crib, and um, I don't know. Like, I just feel like I don't know when she's going to go in a toddler bed. I feel like Ella went into a toddler bed at like two and a half. The boys were even later than that. Um, Ella started crawling out, her, out of her crib. I don't think the boys really did that, so we just eventually switched them over. We're also putting up some of their hair accessories right here, and I want to organize that further like a little bit later, but... We we're just trying to uh, get this done at this point. So the crib is holding me up because I'm just like, I don't want to set the room up just around the crib and Ella's bed and then wind up getting two completely different beds. Also what's holding me up is that Ella wants a unicorn room, um, which is kind of hard to uh, do in a like low key cute way. If you have any ideas, you have to send them to me on Pinterest, but I've seen a couple of wallpapers that aren't too bad. Anyway, we're to my old closet. I found this clip from an old video and I just wanted you to be able to see both sides of my closet just so you can really like appreciate how much it like truly transformed this is a dream closet another thing i want to tell you guys is that from day one you remember my old closet my old house it was smaller it was like a yellow color i never changed it it had like little butterflies on the wall it was very small and i still appreciated it and loved it so much and then we got the ikea system in there and i love that and appreciated it so much so you can imagine this new uh closet just feels like you know, a dream come true. Basically, what I wanna say and what Chris and I always say is that we feel it's super important to be grateful along the way, every step of the way. So I just genuinely feel like we've always been so grateful with what we had um, and we'll always continue to be grateful for everything. Um, but anyway, this is the closet with just the shelving in it, getting ready to take all of that down. Chris actually took the wire shelving down and then the company built everything else in. So. Here are just some more befores and then here is the after. I will say I had so much fun um, organizing this closet. The hardest part was that I wanted to do it right away and it was like really late at night. So I, you'll see in the first part of this I'm like putting stuff away. I'm in my PJs with wet hair and then I had to wait a couple days later to finish it since I wanted to film it. Um, but yeah, here it is. I'm so happy with it. All right, so the first thing I'm putting in are just my shorts and my jeans. Uh, I love this hack still. It's just a little shower curtain rod with the loops around them, and I just feel like it just looks really nice and organized like this. You can totally fold your jeans up and put them in a drawer, but I really like how they look this way. Isn't this a good life? Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks. Citrus in our beverages. Citrus in our beverages. Show only the good sides. Always pretty smiles are covering our faces. You know it is all lies. You know it is all lies. On and on and on. My method here was like try to put like the sweatshirts and hoodies on the bottom that I wear the most. Um, and then like the nicer tops up top, which I don't have that many nicer tops because I basically live in loungewear, Uggs, and sneakers, but that's just how I am in the summer. I love to like live in little dresses and flip flops. I feel like spring and summer fashion is so much more fun. That's just like my personal opinion um, and so much more cozier too. I think I'm the wrong size, not an 
enough room for everybody's egos. Why don't we all calm down? Why don't we all calm down? On and on and on it goes. Round and round the rodeo. Breathing out air for a minute. Taking my time to begin with. On and on and on it goes. And we are moving on to the next day. Ella and I went to At Home, you know, it's like my favorite store, and just grabbed some organizers for the closet. This I'm gonna put my belts and stuff in. I actually found a belt organizer on Amazon that was like circular and had, um, it was like stackable, but it was like really expensive, even more than $24.99. So I was just like, I'm gonna see what I can find in stores. And I love that, so. Um, over here I'm just putting like my boots and everything and then I'm gonna start putting out my sneakers and you can see to the side of me I have like longer things like robes and cardigans and I will do like a little overview at the end as well So here's that little organizer that I was talking about. So I'm going to use that in here. I love how all of this came out. I am really happy to say that all these drawers still look this way, so I'd like to give a shout out to myself. I was really excited to have these little wooden dividers. I just felt like for the price, they were kind of cheaply made, um, but they did wind up looking good. But just as far as like retracting them and everything, they were just like very cheaply made for the price.
There's my loungewear set drawer. I always am going in that drawer, always wearing loungewear. I found these adorable like baby pink baskets at the Target dollar spot for $5 a piece. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them, but I know that if I left them there that they weren't gonna be there. But it wound out working perfectly. I put my shorts in there. I'm gonna put some winter hats in there, uh, some skirts, and they wound up looking really nice. So in this section here, I'm just putting my diaper bags and whatever purses I have. I don't have a ton of purses in my opinion compared to most because I just, I like what I like and I don't really use a purse that much unless I'm going out like on a date night or something like that. I usually always just have my diaper bag. I don't know about you, do you carry a diaper bag and a purse or one or the other? Um, so I'm just organizing that and again, it just makes me so happy that everything has a place. It's just a really good feeling to know where everything is when you need it. So I did just want to take this time out and say I'm not positive if I'm going to have a Tuesday video. I've been having some health issues, nothing that I want you to worry about. I woke up in the middle of the night the other night and I passed out two times in a row. So first up on my list is getting my blood work done for my thyroid. You know, I have thyroid issues, but I'm definitely not feeling my best right now. But again, I don't want you to worry about me. I just wanted to explain that I might not have a Tuesday video this week, but I hope that you all enjoy this. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.